Registered nutritionist Dr. Joy Callender joins us for this episode of 10 Minutes to Your Health as we look at reasons to have a glass or two of wine because of its health benefits. Not while you're in school, they'll ask you to leave like never. <laughs> She's here to set things straight. Good morning. Welcome hey, to Sludge Week. Morning. It's morning time. So a lot of people yeah. just went, what? What could be beneficial about consuming alcohol? But, but there are benefits to consuming there, wine. There are benefits, but before I start, yes. let me say that there's a brand new study out, biggest study, saying that there are no safe levels of alcohol. Mm. So I want to put that out there. And this was published in The Lancet, okay. one, of our, one of the premier journals. Okay. No journals. safe levels of alcohol. No safe, because, because we are so aware of the disadvantages. Mm -hmm. There are more than 3 million deaths associated with to, alcohol, with alcohol yeah. globally, mm -hmm. annually. So let me just put that one out there. Just and as we that. like to say, everything in moderation. Everything in moderation, and that's very important. Yeah. So when we talk about moderation, um, what is a drink for mm -hmm. men? Two alcoholic drinks per day, and this is from the WHO, five days for the week. And for women, one alcoholic drink. So sorry, Dahlia. Um, it's going to be one drink. Yeah. And, and what is one drink? About a five-ounce glass of wine, four to five-ounce glass of wine, one and a half ounces of distilled liquor, that's like your rum, your gin, your vodka. We can't remember, that's a calendar. And 12 ounces of beer. 12 ounces of beer? Yes. How much come in a bottle? <laughs> <laughs> so if you're downing a bottle at night, that's not it. That's not the recommendation. And we know that there are other issues with alcohol, and more and more ladies are drinking alcohol, and in particular, wine. Yeah. Now we know that there are some particular benefits to red wine. Mm -hmm. um, the major benefit with alcohol in general has to do with, it, it can actually lower your stroke risk. That's if you do it in the moderate mm -hmm. levels. Why is that so? Why does it lower your, your, your stroke risk? Well, one of the things that, al that alcohol in general does, it helps to keep the blood thin. Oh. It has that blood thinning effect. So okay. that's probably one, one of, of the, the mechanisms. Why. Yes. All right. Um, so these are some of the benefits that we have from foodandwine.com. So we'll, we'll just run through them. Yes. The first one says it promotes longevity. Mm -hmm. Wine drinkers have a 34% lower mortality rate than beer yes. or spirits drinkers. True. Um, red wine has an antioxidant that we call resveratrol. Okay. It's, what, it's present in the skin of red grapes. Mm -hmm. Now, when white wine is made, it's fermented without the skin and the seeds and all of oh. that. But red wine, the, 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 the manner in which red wine is made, made. Mm -hmm. the grapes are pressed um, and fermented. Mm -hmm. So in the case of red wine, it's fermented with the skin and seeds. Mm -hmm. So you get maximum preservation of that resveratrol. Because right. you can actually take resveratrol as a supplement. As a supplement, Of course, yeah. for me, what you can get from food, you don't you want don't to take from a supplement. <laughs> Supplements are the backup. Yes, and you get a lot more out of the food too. Yes. Um, we spoke about this. It reduces um, heart attack risk because of the blood thinning um, things. It says, moderate drinkers suffer from high blood pressure are 30% less likely to have a heart attack than non-drinkers. Yes, so it's good for your cardiovascular health, good for your heart health. Okay. Um, and as we move on from that, what is very important, I think, it reduces your... Or sorry, it increases your level of HDL, which is good cholesterol. Oh. And we know that that is um, protective, protective yeah. of, of your heart health. Mm -hmm. I have never seen a recommendation more popular with men than red wine. Once you tell them they drink <laughs> it. <laughs> that's crazy. Yes. That's very popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it says, well, same thing, lowers the risk of heart disease because yes. the red wine tannins yes. contain... Procyanidins, I yes, think, yes. which protect against heart disease. At, at t types of antioxidants, um, mm -hmm. again, names like quercetin. And the other thing with resveratrol is that it has anti-inflammatory effects, and that's a buzzword now. Yes. As it relates to disease. 
I, we should have you on to talk about that because now I realize almost everything is going back We're to looking the inflammation. At the, yes, chronic yeah. chronic inflammation. Yeah. So that's very important. Mm -hmm. um, brain health, it appears that red wine, the, the resveratrol, it helps to prevent these beta amyloids that we see deposited in the brain in Alzheimer's. So that's a lot of research going on in that area because mm -hmm. Alzheimer's and Alzheimer and dementia, you know, becoming more and more prominent. Yes, yes, yes. In, as it relates to health, particularly with an aging population. Mm -hmm. So we always want to be looking at ways and means of that's trying to prevent that. You can address that. that. Mm -hmm. um, reduces risk of type 2 diabetes. Yes, um, that is very possible because um, resveratrol seems to decrease insulin mm. resistance okay makes you more insulin sensitive mm -hmm. so that is a possible um, possible benefit. benefit yes all right so we spoke yes. already about the heart and, the, and lowers the risk of stroke yes this says it also cuts the risk of cataracts um again the, the whole business of the anti antioxidants bear in mind that some of these studies are small Yes. And always when you say A, you have to say B, and B, then you have to say we need more thousand, research. Yes. 1,400 people in Iceland, which was in 2003. Yes, so, yeah. there you go. Mm -hmm. but, but it gives food for thought and the basis for further research. Yeah. Stony Brook University did a study on 2,000, approximately 300 persons over a four-year period and said moderate consumption of wine, especially red, cuts the risk of colon cancer by 45%. Yes, um, of cancers, some cancers, but again, it's a slippery slope. Yes. I would never want to promote alcohol as a way of improving your absolutely, health benefits absolutely. because we know there's an association between alcohol mm -hmm. and breast cancer and several other cancers, larynx, esophageal, so cautious, careful. Yeah. And it's a slippery slope, as I said, from one glass of wine with dinner. To a bottle of wine mm, with dinner. With nothing at all. Yes, and especially for our women. So I wanted to raise that because sometimes people say, oh, wine is good, mm -hmm. but, but wine um, is not in a vacuum. No. So you it have to be also part look of at all the things that you're... It diet, the correct. basis of which if we look at the French, the, the, the French and the Mediterranean diet, mm. in, in, in fact, uh, some of the data come from studies in mm -hmm. France right. or, or on the French. Mm -hmm. And they have a diet which is high in vegetables. They use fruit for dessert. Um, so even though they have the cheeses and the, all of these things, it's really considered to be a very healthy diet, high in the monounsaturated fats. Mm -hmm. um, their whole lifestyle, they're much more active. Yes. So you always have to look at things as part, part of, of, of the, Yeah. I, I, I went to a particular country and I had to ask them because to me the food was so salty. Mm -hmm. And I eat salt. I couldn't have it at all. Too salt. And I said to them, do you guys um, have a lot of hypertension? And, and they look at me like I was crazy. But then I realized they also have a lot of vegetables. Mm -hmm. and, and perhaps and other their things. activity levels. Yes, you, you always walk have to far yeah. and then, so, you know, so that, that, yes. that came to bear on it. And I thought that yes. was interesting. Yes. Um, any last tips for, for us before we go? We know wine, yeah, but moderation. Moderation is the key. And as a part of, of, of a whole. Of a healthy diet. And I would suggest a glass of dry red wine um, with dinner, with a meal, and as part of a diet high in vegetables, um, some fruit, some mm. healthy fats, more fish and seafood, less red meat. So that's the way we really would want to go. All right. Did you hear that, Benji? Dry red, not the cake wine, dry <laughs> red, there's a difference. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure to have you here with us. It's my pleasure to be Registered here. Thank you, nutritionist. <laughs> Dr. Joy, her name, her name is her personality, Dr. Joy Calendar, right. on some health benefits of drinking wine. Here Join us again Dr. next Joy. week, same time, where we'll do it all again in 10 minutes to your health. <laughs>